People who live near the Barnett Recreation Center are showing support and sending words of encouragement to those working at the center. On Tuesday, a shooting outside that center left a 19-year-old man hurt. Columbus police say two suspects tried to rob the teen, and when he tried to run, the suspects fired several shots. At least one bullet hit the teen. He is expected to survive. NBC4's Eric Halperin is live now in Columbus. And Eric, they're not letting this recent violence slow down their community efforts, right? Colleen and Carrie, the community center has been around for more than 50 years and has helped countless residents. The staff and the neighbors want everyone to know, despite what happened the other night, their important work will continue. This is not just any lap around the field at the Barnett Recreation Center. These are steps of strength, showing the center and its staff are not stopping their work serving the community. We don't just recreate in that building. We help, we heal, we help each other. Uh, we call it from womb to tomb. We are here for you the whole time. And they were there for everyone during a dangerous situation Tuesday night. Police say a man was shot outside the center while two others tried to rob him. According to Recreation and Parks, it happened while some kids were playing outside. A department spokesperson says staff got all the kids inside right away and put the building on lockdown. Another staff member helped the shooting victim until police and EMTs arrived. This staff has always gone above and beyond uh, whatever the community needed, whatever was needed here at the center itself. Uh, I'm very proud of them. The Mideast Area Commission, other neighborhood organizations, and city leaders gathering Thursday to show the center their support. We love you. We'll do whatever we need. And one incident does not define who we are. It does not define us as a community. But it just shows that our babies need a lot of love and support. And so thank you for everything. Manager Maggie Davis, who led the lap, wants the community to know what happened will not slow down the center's work. We're here just doing what we're doing. We do want the community to know we are a beacon of safety, I promise. We are here for you if you need anything. And as for the investigation into the attempted robbery and shooting, police are still looking for two suspects. If you have any information, you're asked to call Columbus Police. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.